All right, guys, got a quick lesson for you today. This is going to be a red pill lesson. Um, basically, the concept here is that um, the elite use Marxism as, as well as feminism. I've been saying this forever to um, destabilize society, to destabilize particularly the family unit. All right. I mean, what an evil lie that at the core of feminism is this concept that men are inherently oppressive and abusive towards women. Feminism really just, um, what it really does is it just denies female nature. That's all it really does. It denies female nature and it tells lies about the male nature. And women generally um, still gravitate towards masculine. They, they are attracted to masculine, sorry to say. Of course, there's been a, a big hit you know, in society on many levels as far as the effect of second and third wave feminism on society. Um, but again, I've been saying this for years that um, the elite use um, Marxism and feminism to basically attack and destabilize the family unit and particularly to demonize and lower the impact and value of the of the male particularly in the family unit as well as in society western society specifically and the reason for that is you know societies and countries are easier to rule over if you know the the males are not strong if you make the women strong and tell the women they can do everything a man can do then you disrupt the structure of society as well as particularly the structure of uh, the family unit. Um, I would recommend a guy who knows more about this and who is more adept at this kind of thing, um, at, at this kind of knowledge, I would recommend a guy named Henry Macau, M-A-K-O-W, Henry Macau. I think you can reach him still at henrymacau.com. Of course, you know, if you want to learn more about the Illuminati hand signs and the elite, you know, sort of symbolism and all that you can study a guy on youtube named russian vids i also recommend a guy named jeremiah cohen on youtube these guys break break that down a lot better than i can um but today we're going to talk about Karl marx and we're going to talk about basically marxism which is you know communism socialism that kind of thing but we're gonna we're not going to get into any of the philosophy or the economic policy or any of that crap i'm just going to show you this picture there you go. There's Karl Marx doing the um, the uh, gesture, the, 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 the hidden hand gesture. It's called Master of the Second Veil. All right, it's an Illuminati hand gesture, basically an Illuminati gang sign, right? It's when they stick their hand in their coat like that. It basically symbolizes the hidden rulership of the elite over society, the Illuminati, whatever, whatever, and people say, oh, it's not bad, the Illuminati's not bad, blah, 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 well, if you study into Freemasonry, you study into Skull and Bones, you study into all these things, they're connected to Satan worship, they're connected to um, paganism, they're connected to ancient um, Babylon, Babylonian worship, they worship, you know, the, 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 the Babylonian god Moloch, they worship, um, these Babylonian gods, which are which is basically satanic in nature, pagan. It's basically pagan worship, pagan pagan gods. And these are our leaders. These are our these are the leaders. There you go again. There's Joseph Stalin doing the master of the second veil, the hidden hand. Again, this is communism. So many young people are caught up in oh we you know we want to tear down we want to tear down capitalism blah blah blah. And there's so much they're so caught up in this communism crap. Even though communism killed 100 million people, right? Hundred million of, of their own people. This is um, I forget this guy's name. Kind of a weird, weird way to do it. Kind of almost kind of perverted. I forget this guy's name. I think he's a senator in, in, in the United States. So uh, you know there are senators, there are our rulers. Of course, here you got the Pope doing it, right? That's the Pope, Pope Francis, secretly a Freemason. <laughs> there you go. Um, here's a collage. The hidden hand, the Masonic hand gesture. You got George Washington, Karl Marx, Nietzsche, uh, Baron von Nijay, I don't know who that is, Pope Francis, 
Joseph Stalin, Napoleon, Frederick Bartholomew. I don't know who that is. I think he's a. Anyway, there there goes Barack Obama, Lafayette, Edgar Allan Poe, Mozart, Robert E. Lee, Charles Darwin. A lot of people don't know Charles Darwin was a Freemason. Charles Darwin was part of the Illuminati, and his evil, lying book, The Origin of Species, was basically is basically against God, right? Here, you, here you got another one. Right? Notice anything? Trump's the only one who's not doing it. Right? Well, he can't because that, that's too easy. He'd get caught. Of course, you know you got uh, Joseph Stalin up there, Napoleon. Right? So, master of the second veil. It's called the hidden hand. Basically, these are our leaders, man. These these guys. Um, and, and and don't get it twisted. Trump's one of them too. He's he's he, Trump's a Freemason. It's just not as readily. Just not as as readily available uh, that you know that information, but he is. Um, he he might not be playing ball with the with the way they really want him to. But anyway, so that's just a basic red pill, quick red pill lesson for you guys today. You 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 know, do your googles, do your research. People who run the world are nothing nice. They're not. Um, <laughs> they're not these nice, brilliant Illuminati people that they tried to say they were in this in the 18th century or whatever. Um, they're basically Satanists, you know, they're all related. The George Bushes are related to the Barack Obamas, are related to the Queens of England's, are related to the Popes and blah blah blah. It's all it's all nepotism, it's all family ties, it's all bloodline. Uh, um, you know, an e evil elite royal bloodline that rules behind the scenes, sorry to say. You know, I'd recommend watching um, a, a documentary called uh, Zeitgeist. You can watch that. Um, although I, I don't fully agree with the religion part, I, I don't I don't think I agree at all with the religion part. But the, the economic part, when it talks about the Federal Reserve, it talks about the people, you know, your Rockefellers and your uh, Kennedys and your people who your founding people who um, you know all, all the presidents and all the people who run the Fed and run our money systems, et cetera, et cetera. It's a pretty good documentary, Zeitgeist. Um, so yeah, it's just a quick lesson to let you know that really I just want to point out, you know, we got Joseph Stalin here as well as Karl Marx here who are doing these these gestures. So, you know, we also got Charles Darwin doing this gesture. These are people who have heavy influence on our society, on the on the philosophical and spiritual as well as economic um, you know, hypothetical areas of our society that you Marxism socialism communism uh, Darwinism even these are huge um, th philosophical ideologies that are influencing young people of today unfortunately um, what's the antidote to that what's the any anti you know antithesis or whatever to that right what is the opposite of those things traditional values God love right not communism not cat neither communism nor capitalism god wasn't for any of that stuff christ and jesus you know wasn't for any of that stuff he was for love he was for um you know loving god loving your neighbor treating others how you want to be treated basically for the golden rule right um money's you know in my opinion is an evil thing commerce is an evil thing um it's it's caused lots of slavery throughout the history of the world and Karl Marx didn't have the answer because look at the result. Look at what Lenin did. Look at what Stalin did. Look at what uh, Pol Pot did. Look at what Chairman Mao did, right? All these leaders who killed millions, hundreds of millions of their own countrymen, all for an ideology. Um, very sick thing, communism. Very sick thing, socialism and things like that. It's not the answer to capitalism. Capitalism is, a, is an evil, but... You know these you know these other ideologies are not the answer and they are used by the elite to you know divide and conquer and that's that's their main um, modus operandi that's their main uh, maxim is divide and conquer and and they what they really want to do is destabilize and rule right they want to destabilize a strong society that is woke and this is what JFK tried to do John F Kennedy he tried to listen to his last Go listen to his last speech. He tried to wake people up. He tried to warn the population, and they killed him about two weeks later. So, um, and that's that was our president. He was the highest of the highest, and he tried to expose the secret societies. He tried to expose these hidden hand people, and they and they and they killed him for it. So, you know, the answer 
is you know stay stay cool you know what i mean stay stay woke and this is basically just a red pill lesson for guys to to understand that communism is the answer and if you want to know your enemy right this is what they always say know your enemy knowing is half the battle right um then understand that when you send your kids off to college when you when you when, when they go to these universities they're getting inundated and they're getting brainwashed with the propaganda of marxism and communism as well as feminism which is a which is basically radicalized and a horrible thing today it's basically misandry today so these are things that are out there that we need to understand that you know the origins of communism karl marx doing the hidden hand that, that's an origin of marxism right he, he, the origin of darwinism you know you got charles darwin doing the hidden hand these are all this is all people who are plotting these things who are in bed with satan who are in bed with these evil things which these evil things negatively affect our society what's one of the biggest things that affected our society in the last 200 years the origin of species charles darwin right <laughs> He, he basically is saying God isn't real, evolution is real, we come from monkeys, um, which basically backs up the theory that morality is subjective, that you know we're all just animals and we just follow our base instincts. We don't have to have any values, we don't have to have any ethics, we don't have to have any morals because animals don't, so, so what does it matter, right? This is all just evil shit that kind of tears away at the fabric of our society, which what has made our society so great and God we trust. What has made our society so great, right? We put God first. We, you know, one nation under God. What has made our society so great? We were founded by pilgrims. What, what has made our society so great? You know, we, we respect God on Sunday. We go to church. We thank God at, di at dinner time. We say, um, you know, thank you, Lord, for the... For the food thank you for all our, all our blessings and things like that and and and, and what is the quality in ha having a god-fearing life it's you know we live a monogamous life we respect our spouses we're not out there messing around because why because this creates a strong quality society but all these things these marxism these darwinism these feminism things they come in and they tear away at the fabric of that traditional society that traditionalism they come in and they tear away at the fabric the moral fabric specifically and this is why we see porn this is why we see um, women sleeping around this is why we see STDs this is why we see single moms this is why we see all this negative crap out there in society because these things are inundating our colleges and that they're brainwashing our young people to believe that there's no God to believe that capitalism is evil to believe that you should be a, 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 a atheist rebel to believe that, 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 that anarchy is the way to succeed these are all evil things, right? Anyway, um, just wanted to point out that Karl Marx is a Freemason. Karl Marx is part of the Illuminati. So was so was Joseph Stalin, obviously. So are a lot of our leaders. Don't be fooled. These people don't have your best interest in mind. Don't be fooled. You know, take take the red pill. This is all part of the red pill. This is a red pill lesson. Um, you know, be smart. Understand that the people who rule over this world, you know, they are influencing major things, right? Even what we're going through today with, with this COVID and with all this um, scare about this, this pandemic, you know, I've heard some silly things. Certain counties in my, in my state are, um, you know, going back to phase one because more than 35 people got sick or something. Just weird shit, man. And, and pay attention. There's good people out there who pay attention to details, pay attention to legislation. These people change legislation, you know. Um, the, the term eugenics comes up in, in this whole talk, you know, when it comes to abortion and feminism, you know, oh, women can have the right over their body, the right to what? Kill a child without the father's consent? That's crazy. That's eugenics. And that, that's all part of it, right? This is all part of it. Um, so, you know, when it comes to a pandemic, whether or not the pandemic is real or not, it could be, could be part of the, the eugenics process. It's all part of control. It's all part of how they play us, all part of how they play the system, all part of how they pull the strings. All of it's related, um, but I want to talk about it from a red pill perspective to let you guys know that this is what our, our daughters and our and our you know potential girlfriends and wives it, th th this is the crap they're getting inundated with. This is the propaganda crap that they're getting brainwashed with by these sick, evil Illuminati people who make these crazy hand gestures. And these are all this is all cult. This is all cult stuff. Read books on Freemason. Oh, you can check out a guy named Mark Dice. He's pretty decent, also on YouTube. Anyway, appreciate you guys listening. It's been Jay Lee. It's been a Northwest Podcast. Peace.